Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to share with you some of the beauty products that I purchased recently. Also, at the end of this video, make sure you stay tuned because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. And this is an appreciation of those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I reached 100 subscribers recently, so I'm so excited about that. And I wanted to say thank you and as a show of gratitude, give you guys back something that I know you will love. So stay tuned for the end of the video and I will show you how you can enter the giveaway. Right. So the first product I'm gonna start with is the one that I 100% did not plan to pick up this product and that is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I'm using these three colors right here and I applied them on my on my hand. Uh, I applied it onto my lid with my fingers and it was perfect. Like it went on so nicely. I was able to blend it out with my transition color easily and it just it was so I actually ended up buying it because I went I was walking through Macy's and I was walking by the Urban Decay counter. One of the reps had the most beautiful eyeshadow looks I'd ever seen and of course, I walked up to her and I asked her, how did you do that? And she said she used this. And so that's how I ended up purchasing this. Whenever I purchase a pricey palette that has colors like this or colors that I know that I won't use very often, I'm always like, oh. always have that buyer's remorse sinking in. Um, not at all with this. These are the colors. This is just one swirl and swatch on my arm. So they're very vibrant. Okay, next, along with Urban Decay, I'm also using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Hex. This is so creamy and smooth. I think, I mean, the color already is one of my favorites. I'm wearing it right now with another lipstick that I'm gonna mention. I think if you know, had filled in my lips with this pencil, I'd get a similar color. Like that's what this color is. It's just a great lip liner. And again, most importantly, the formula is so good. When I was, so I was walking out of Macy's and we have a new NYX store right outside of our Macy's. I was looking at the eyeliner section. I don't know if this is new or if it's just I'm seeing it for the first time. Slide on eye pencil and I tested it out on my hand and it was just as creamy as the Urban Decay pencil. So you see it just glided on so smooth and it's so bright. I haven't used it yet so I don't know. I mean usually it if it swatches well usually it wears well as well. Uh, usually as well. And this is $8. And this is pricey for NYX because you can buy eyeliners for $4. But when I swatch the eyeliners at Urban Decay and compare them to this, I think it's worth it. Like, this is Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's in the color Trust Issues. And I'm wearing this on my lips. It is the perfect combination. It's like almost the same color. These products both went on so nicely. Like I feel like I could have just filled, lined my lips and filled it in with this one or just use this and I, I would have had to use a liner. Wearing mine now for at least two hours doesn't feel drying at all. I mean, it's dry, it's liquid lipstick and I love the color Bunsen. Bunsen. Next is a set of lashes from New Bunsen. These are the lashes in Bella. It's really pretty. I've used them one time and I actually have a picture where I'm wearing this on my Instagram and Facebook. I'm wearing a blue shirt, my hair is up, I'm wearing nude lips and seem like when I wear them, they seem really full, but they don't look as full as they're on here, but it still gives me like an effect of my lashes being really full. So if you wanna see a picture, I'm gonna try to insert one right here. There you go, you see me wearing these lashes. It's a really nice set of lashes. So I recently did a video um, using this kit. This is the Sephora Favorites Extravagant Eyes kit. I bought this because I was going to buy Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner and Midnight Cowboy so that this set included this already. This is $20 on its own. This whole kit was um, $42. Off the bat, I knew I wanted to try Huda Beauty's Samantha Lashes, which themselves retail for $20. And all the other products are, were really good too. I, mean, I wouldn't necessarily buy this for any of the other products. I personally wouldn't. It wasn't anything else I really needed. I mean, to me, it was still such a great deal. Purchase. Next is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. This is in the shade 3.75. I've used it already and it's 
super creamy. It's meant to be full coverage, but it doesn't really feel too cakey. It's also nice enough to wear on top of another concealer for a little bit of extra highlighting because it's that creamy. It really worked well with my dry skin and you only need a very little bit. The next two items are kind of go hand in hand. This is um, NYX Face and Body Glitter. And so when I was in the NYX store, one of the girls had done this beautiful lipstick look with Basically, it was a glitter look, and I'm sure you've seen on Instagram a lot of different glittery lip looks. This lip look with the glitter is just so pretty that I had to try it. Um, so that's why I bought this. This is in the color 09. It's like a red color. Um, and then along with it, I bought the glitter glue. And I'm going to try that out. See how that goes. It's lip. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX, and it's in the color of Vancouver. So I had a lot of purple lipsticks so oh and it's not as purple okay it's actually going to be very comparable to trust issues so um i'm in the bottle it looks like purple like purple purple but when i swatch it on my hand it's comparable to trust issues but a little bit darker so i'm looking forward to using that i can't believe i haven't ever tried these out like i've used their their full throttle lipsticks and their butter glosses, but never tried this lip cream. And um, already just from swatching it, it, it's very soft. It's very soft. Um, again, I, as far as how it wears on the lips, I don't know. I mean, it is you know an inexpensive product. I think it was like $7 or something. So I don't know it's gonna apply as well on the lips as this, but we'll see. And now for the giveaway. I wanted to show my appreciation to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. I recently hit 100 subscribers. I'm so grateful. I am giving away two Morphe eyeshadow palettes to give you guys something that you can do a lot of looks with. And the combination of these two, you can do a lot with. It's one of their best-selling palettes. I think what makes it so popular is it's so versatile. I mean, and it goes with so many different skin tones and you can create so many different looks with it. Um, and then, you know, add this into the mix and you can go crazy with all kinds of different looks. So in order to enter the giveaway, you'll have to be subscribed to my channel on YouTube um, and also following me on Instagram. I also am on Twitter, 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 Facebook, and Snapchat as well. For the giveaway purposes, I wanted to keep it simple, so you just have to be subscribed to me on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Leave a comment and I will reach out to you via reply to your comment and I'll let you know that you're the winner. I will choose a winner at some point this month and let you know before the end of the month so you should have your palettes in January. Um, but again, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and I really appreciate your support and we appreciate all the likes you give me, all the times you share my video. Of course, your comments really mean a lot. Thank you, happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.